Hello, fellow agents. Yeah. Today we're gonna do a small test between a carbon fiberglass laminated bowl and a uh, wooden bowl laminate. So we're here at the Silver Archery in London, and uh, I thank you very, I thank them for you very much for the opportunity to test this bowl here. And we want to see some speeds out of these bows. The bows have similar strings, similar poundages, and similar lengths. This is a bit longer with two inches. So this one has a 16 strand Dacron string, and the other one has a 14 strand Dacron string. So it's very similar. Most traditional bows use Dacron strings anyway, so that's why I want to use them. Normally I use fast fly. Right. So now we let's get to the equipment measuring. We have some arrows here. We have some light arrows. The Victory Carbon Trad. And this go in at 512 grains. All the arrows have been marked with a white with a white duct tape here. And we will measure them from the groove of the knock to the white marker, it's exactly 28 inches. Could you please? Yes. So all the arrows have been fitted with this white marker, so we do not overdraw the bows and get the incorrect result. So in the video, you will see me shooting the bows. And if you see me passing this point, it's already invalid. So this is why. And now the second arrows, super heavy arrows, the grizzly sticks, momentum block, this is around 800, 888 grains, absolute monsters. So we have three arrows of each, three light arrows and three very heavy arrows. So now let's get to the shooting and see exactly the speeds. The first bow is the Falco Trophy Carbon, and this is 75 pounds measured at 28 inches. We will be shooting the heavy arrows first. One hundred sixty-six. One hundred sixty-three. I am not. Uh, I am not one hundred percent sure. I reached the full draw on this bow. It's uh, a bit difficult for me to to try to shoot this way because it's not uh, natural for me. But for the purpose of the test, this is why we're doing it. One hundred sixty-four. So very similar results. Let's make an average one hundred sixty-four average. Now we will be shooting the lighter arrows and see the results. This is an arrow. Hundred feet per second. Another arrow will repeat that one. Okay, so we're just gonna repeat the the light arrow test, just to make sure that everything will be correct. <laughs> Hundred and two feet per second. Another error. Two hundred and six feet per second. So this is normally the average with the light arrows between two hundred. Two, two hundred six. So now we're gonna shoot the wooden bow and see the results. So now we'll be shooting the wooden bow that I made myself around four years ago when I used to work for Bear Paul. And this is a bamboo, black locust, and wenge wood on the belly.
So this is a very nice bow. And we're gonna shoot first the heavy arrows. Let's see. The first one is an arrow. First one, 156. 161. Let's shoot the lighter arrows and see the results. One hundred ninety seven. One hundred ninety six. One hundred ninety three. We're just gonna we're gonna shoot it again just to make sure. So this is the second test with the wooden bow because I did I did not reach the full draw. We will try to do it again and see the results. One hundred sixty feet per second with the heavy arrows. One hundred fifty-nine. Duplicate. So that's one hundred fifty-nine again. Now we'll shoot the lighter arrows and see the result. Two hundred and three feet per second. Kevin here just told me the the draw length was not uh, was not reach of twenty eight inches. Let's try it again. One hundred ninety nine. So now we're gonna weigh down the bow, the bows, and we will see the the power that they have at 28 inches, and then we will also measure them from one and one inch to see the force draw curve that I will make later on, and I will post it on the video. So now we will just see the maximum draw at 28 inches. So at 28 inches, we have a power of 73 pounds, 73.5. So I hope you can see the string is parallel with the mark of 28 inches. Yep. Okay. So now let's make a force draw curve. We are here at 7.3 uh, 7 from, from the brace height. And now we will go down 1 inch. 9 inch. 6.5. 10 inch. 10.5. 11 inch. 15 pounds. 12 inch. 18.5, 13 inch, 22 pounds, 14 inch, 25 pounds, 15 inch, 28 pounds, 16 inch, 30 pounds, 17, 33, 18 inch, 36, 19 inch, 39, 20 inch, 42.5, 21 inch, 45.5, 22 inch, 49, 23 inch, 52, 24 inch, 56, 25 inch, 60, 26 inch, 63, 27 inch, 66, 28 inch, 72.5, 73, 73 pounds. Okay, so that's a double measurement. And now we will measure the wooden ball.
So now we will measure the wooden bow and the brace height right now is at 6 inches. First let us see the power at 28 inches. So let's see the poundage at 28 inches. 71 pounds, 70 pounds, around 70 pounds. So that's at 28 inches, the force is 70 pounds, just like I measured before. Okay, so now let's make a measurement from one and one inches to the bow. Right, we're starting from six, seven inches, 4.5, eight inches, eight pounds, nine inches, 10.5, 10 inches, 13.5, 11 inches, 16.5, 12 inches, 19.5, 13 inches, 22 pounds, 14 inches, 25 pounds, 15 inches, 28 pounds, 16 inches, 30.5, 17 inches, 33.5, 18 inches, 36.5, 19 inches, 39 pounds, 20 inches, 42 pounds, 21 inches, 45.5, 22, 48.5, 23, 52 pounds, 24, 55.5, 25, 59 pounds, 26, 63 pounds, 27 inches, 66 pounds, 28 inches, 70 pounds. Uh, well, not that we, we finish that one. Just to finish up this test. So as you saw in the speed test, the speed of the bows is very similar. What that means is that even a wooden laminated bow can compete with a modern fiberglass carbon lamination. That is a very interesting concept. I think many people forgot in the new era of archery that wooden bows are also very performant if they are constructed well and they are properly maintained. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I wish all archers from all the from all the aspects of archery, compound, Olympic, and traditional archers, a Merry Christmas. I thank you again uh, for uh, for your help, Kevin, and uh, Silver Archery as well. If you are in London, please visit Silver Archery Shop. It's a great place. You can have so much fun here. You can test your bow, shoot the chronograph, everything. And uh, I hope you like this video. Watch and subscribe. Thank you very much. Over and out.